verify you have received everything you ordered. You should have received, along with their associated accessories, one, low flow air sampling pumps, two, dual split tubing for each pump, three, two tagged calibration thermal desorption tubes, four, two thermal desorption tubes for field blanks, five, one pair of thermal desorption tubes for each pump received, six, specialized wrench set, seven, an optional dry cal calibrator if ordered. Once you have entered your monitoring site, begin your sampling event by removing the field blank tubes from their packaging while wearing the provided gloves. Remove the swage lock end caps with the included wrench set. Immediately recap the field blanks with the swage lock ends. Use the provided wrenches to ensure they are tight. Be sure to only use the wrenches from the kit. The use of your own wrenches could damage your sample. Place the field blank tubes back in the bag they arrived in and seal the bag. Remove the sampling pumps from the case. Before use or calibration, be sure to allow the pumps to run for upwards of two minutes to ensure the proper calibration is reached. You will need to utilize the provided screwdriver to turn on the pump. Each pump has been pre-calibrated by SGS Galson Laboratories prior to shipping. If you have elected to perform your own pre-calibration, you will perform this step now with the optional low flow calibrator. Remove the calibration tubes from their packaging. Use the provided wrench set to remove the swage lock end caps. And connect the tubes to the low flow tubing already attached to the sampling pump. The provided calibration tubes are meant for nothing more than checking your flow rates. These are not to be sampled on at any point. Begin by connecting the calibration tubes to your dual split tubing. The grooved end of the tube must face away from the pump. After the calibration tubes are connected to the pump tubing, you will connect the open end of the thermal desorption tube to the tubing adapter of the calibrator. Turn on the calibrator. Allow the calibrator to run for a rotation of 10 readings. After the 10th reading, the calibrator will average all 10 flows and provide a calibration on the bottom of the screen. For more instructions on the calibrator, refer to our BIOS Dry Cal Defender instructional video. If adjustments to the flow need to be made, do so with the adjustable flow controller at the end of the tubing. Adjust one side of the tubing at a time. When they are both set, confirm that the first side is unchanged. Never adjust the flow of the pump or detach the tubing from the pump. Once your calibration is confirmed and you are ready to sample, remove the calibration tubes and reattach their swage lock caps with the provided wrenches. Place them back in the original packaging. For your convenience, the tubes have been pre-separated for each individual sampling pump. The tubes have also been pre-assigned to a designated flow rate. The tube with a single zip tie connects to the tubing with a single zip tie and is calibrated for one liter an hour at 0 0.0167 liters per minute. The tubing with the double zip ties connects to the tubing with the double zip ties and is calibrated for four liters an hour at 0 0.0667 liters per minute. Again, the grooved end will face away from the pump, leaving the arrow pointing at the pump. Begin air sampling by sliding the power switch to the on position. You may need your provided screwdriver to do this. Record the start time, pump barcode number, and the tube's serial number on the provided field test data sheet. Clip the pump to a belt loop and run the tubing behind your back and over your shoulder. Use the connected collar clips to secure the tubing to your person. Allow the sampling pump to run for 60 minutes. After 60 minutes, switch the sampling pump to the off position. Record the stop time on the field test data sheet. While wearing the provided gloves, 
Remove the tubes from the pump tubing. Reattach the swage lock end caps using the provided wrench set. Be sure to keep the sampling pairs together when you place them back in the original packaging. The sample bags will arrive pre-labeled. Be sure to place the tube in the bag that matches their serial number. Samples must be kept refrigerated at 4 degrees Celsius if unable to ship back to SGS Galson immediately. When shipping back, please use the provided ice pack and cooler. For kits with the optional low flow calibrator, you will perform your post calibration now by utilizing your calibration tubes. Document the sampled flow rate on your field test data sheet. Place all paperwork and equipment in the original shipping containers and return to SGS Galson Laboratories using the provided return shipping label. If you have any questions about shipping back to SGS Galson, please refer to our repack and return of sampling equipment instructional video. Questions? Contact SGS Galson Laboratories by phone, email, or IH live chat. You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at galsonlabs.com. Thank you.